I asked, you guys answered, what do men and women actually want for Valentine's Day? And make it simple, okay? Let's go. Now before we start, let me just set the mood a little bit. And I think that personally we should start the video off with a couple laughs before we get into the nitty gritty. Um, like I said, I asked on Instagram what you guys thought you wanted for Valentine's Day. And there were some common responses, so those things are what I'm gonna go over later. But there were also some really funny things, especially from the guy's end. So I'm gonna hit you with some funny ones. What do guys want for Valentine's Day? Get Crocky said morning noggin. Now we can just assume what that might mean. A blowy and some Olive Garden. Hey, my $2,000 stimulus check. Somebody just wants an actual Valentine this year. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, someone asked for a Bernie Sanders jacket. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Now let's go through what the girls want. I'm gonna pick some funny ones for you. Soft pretzels with cheese. <laughs> That's what somebody said. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Another girl said a dang engagement ring. And that's not the first time I'm seeing this. So you guys, if, if you're watching this and you're a male and you're not picking up on the hints, I don't know what to tell you, but there's a lot of engagement rings in here that apparently need to be given, so. Okay, last one for you. And this is from a female. So, I mean, I'm a little bit surprised. One person just said food and an orgasm. All right, so let's get into the actual, the actual top list. Women first, men last. Maybe we'll have Brad come in here and give his two cents. But the top answer for women and what they want for Valentine's Day, and it's very simple, is this. Quality time. There were so many responses that y'all just said that you wanted time. Um, and it didn't even need to be like a special date. It was just like, I want exclusive time with you, no phones, doing something that, you know, normally maybe we don't always do. Maybe the kids aren't there, but that was the number one answer, quality time. And I'm not sure about you guys, but that seems pretty simple to me. The next one is flowers. Maybe your girl might not agree with this, but I think like just from personal experience, personal opinion, people that I know, we love flowers. They're, you can't go wrong and they're everywhere for Valentine's Day. So they're pretty easy to find. Maybe just, you know, pick them up discreetly and then place them somewhere where it will be surprising to her or wake, them, wake her up in the morning with flowers. Another one is just kind of like, you know, writing a special card. That is so easy. It's so easy. It doesn't need to be elaborate. The next answer was dinner. So some answers were yes, let's go out to eat, but others were just like, make me dinner. I just want you to make me dinner. Maybe throw in a little bit of clean up the house while you're at it. Maybe get a babysitter or something for the kids, but dinner was up there. Food, always a good decision. So if you can't do dinner, maybe do brunch, maybe do breakfast, maybe do lunch. Just something simple with food. Another thing, the next thing that I went over with Austin and Brad is if you do want something specific, just ask for it. Because chances are they haven't picked up on the hints. Another top answer was a massage. So if you haven't scheduled the massage yet, maybe do it 
And even if it's in a couple weeks, it's not actually on Valentine's Day or near Valentine's Day, we probably don't care. We just would like a massage. And maybe it's even by you. That, that might even be better. And it might be better for you in the long run as, as a guy. Do you know where I'm going with this? You give a massage, you get a happy ending. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Another top answer was, if you have a coffee lover or a wine lover in your life, those are easy go-tos. And maybe that seems just too simple, but if you have flowers, a nice bottle of wine, a card that says something thoughtful, pretty sure we're gonna love it. Pretty sure. That goes for even coffee. I can picture Brad maybe getting me some kind of special creamer and maybe a special Nespresso pods or Keurig pods or a special bag of coffee that's kind of bougie. Um, that's a great idea and it's again super super easy. Lastly, one of the most common answers was this, to maybe just help with some chores or clean. And not just a coupon for it. No, none of this coupon stuff. If you're doing coupons, I'm sorry if I offended you. But just do it. Just say like, you know what, babe, I wanna do, I wanna do a list of 10 things for you today and spend a half a day just doing those things. And I'm sure she could come up with a list. That to me, I feel like it's really sweet and thoughtful. But most of all, I think what I took away from all the females answering was that everybody just wants to be thought of. Um, maybe that goes for guys too, but anything that you you know can make them feel special with, maybe you don't have the funds to buy something and that means you're just doing something for them, um, that is enough and I think we just don't, it is, you know, some people have this opinion about Valentine's Day like, oh, it's just a stupid day, it's just another day but it's a chance for them, you know, your wife or your girlfriend or whoever it is in your life that, you know, they want to feel special. So make them feel special in some way. Food is always a good option. Donuts, chocolate. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the guys. <sighs> the guys. What do they want for Valentine's Day? I'm sure you could guess, but I also felt like I needed to add a little bit of perspective to this answer. So the top answer was intimacy, which uh, there was a lot of just like sex. That's all they wanted. Um, so I asked the experts, Brad, and I asked Austin too, you know, he's a younger single guy, different, different worlds they're living in. Does it matter if you wear lingerie does it matter if you like go above and beyond? Because I think as a female, we always think that we're supposed to like go above and beyond and wear something special and like make it this big thing like the movies. And they were like, no. They just said, no. We just want to know that we're going to get some. <laughs> um, right, Brad? Yes. <clears throat> <laughs> as someone that believes in just equal treatment of both males and females, I think it's pretty beat up that it's expected for guys to go above and beyond on Valentine's Day. Because at the end of the day, Valentine's Day was a holiday I thought that was supposed to mean like showing love for your significant other. So I don't think it's really fair that it's turned into this thing where like guys have to like pamper girls. Do you need pampering? Well, I just or think that just mean, I like, just think that it's, equal it's, it out with yeah, some sex. it's misogynistic. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if that's oh the right gosh. word for it. It's, it's not equal, and okay. I believe in equal rights for everyone. Okay, so, but equalizing it means no no gifts, no... No, equalizing it means that if, if I have to, like, fret and worry about doing Valentine's for you, you should worry just as hard about my Valentine's. And I think that it's not that case. Like, guys are, like, getting dinner reservations, they're giving flowers, they're buying chocolate, and what's the girl do? Have sex with you. Oh, that... Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah, exactly. 
No, Maybe if you're not like too full from dinner, you're like, oh, that dinner was great. Thank you for this seven course meal. Okay, so all you're doing is conveying some issues, but now I need a solution. So is the solution to solution is it with The solution success? is that you should probably try to put in as much effort as you expect your significant other to. So, uh, so I'm confused because now you now I'm leaning towards like, oh, it needs to be this big show. Maybe it does, depending I'm just saying, on your husband. Was, no, I'm saying that if you are someone that expects a big show, then you need to be able to give a big show in return. Okay. I, I can see that. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Austin Everything answered. Everything I do is fair. Austin said it, and uh, they both originally said, you know, it didn't really need to be like this big elaborate thing. So I still don't, agree with that though, because I don't make Valentine's Day a big thing. For yeah, you. don't worry about that part too much. Um, but maybe just do something like unpredictable. Like normally he's showering and normally you don't come into the bathroom at that point and then you will. You know what I'm saying? I think you I think you're catching We don't poop. Don't poop, yeah, please don't poop. <laughs> okay. Moving on. So that was, we needed to go over that. Intimacy is the top answer for guys though. The next thing is just dinner. Make dinner. Uh, I don't, there wasn't a lot of like, oh, I want to go out to eat. But I think that's what I'm going to do for Brad is make him dinner. So I don't know. Maybe make it like a special dinner. The last thing that I saw that was common on there was a massage. So it seems like females and males, that's a really good solution. So even if it's not booked like anywhere near Valentine's Day and it's booked for a couple weeks out, maybe that's a good gift. Or you could do it yourself and put a sheet down. <laughs> you know where I've gone with that. Um, get out some massage oils, light some candles, put on some spa music, and just do it yourself. And see where the night takes you. Right? I just, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for what I said about it should be equal. <laughs> so I want to preface this by, by saying that I just think that if you have expectations that someone needs to go above and beyond for you on a certain day, that it's, it's a nice thing to reciprocate those things. So if you have a significant other that is like trying to get you flowers, buys you chocolate and like showers you with love, I think that a good way to show appreciation is, is to do something in return for them. Because I think that the problem with Valentine's Day and stuff like that would be is if you consistently kind of have an expectation that your significant other does all this stuff for you and you never reciprocate that, then then there's an opportunity essentially that they're constantly filling up your love bank and you're not, um, you know, depositing anything in theirs. So I'm that's why I bring that up. I think that you know people joke that March 14th is like blowjob and a steak day. If you've never heard that, <laughs> but it's like it's a month after that. It is. Google it. You want to Google it right now? Okay, look it up, Austin. But anyways, so because because Valentine's Day has turned into this thing that's like predominantly for, um, I guess, females. Um, so I, that's why I brought that up. Let's end the video. Okay. What should they, okay, so comment below if you agree with Brad and you think that you it know, should be a little bit more equal. Yeah, treat your man. Treat your man. Uh -huh. Or comment below like something that you're gonna do for your significant other. Um, but we hope you liked this video and found value in it. And please subscribe if you haven't because we're counting down to the baby. It's coming soon. <laughs> we are. Okay. Share Happy this, Valentine's Day. Yeah, share this video with a man. Yeah. Yeah. Because he needs to know what to buy you for Valentine's Day. And he should know that you're going to get him something nice too. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. You're worth it.